Something I've realized is that you can have an absolutely brilliant product and still not have any real success if you don't bring it to market properly. That's so true and I think Farah has encountered a real go-getter with an exciting new approach to fashion and shopping. I'll let her do the introductions to Kumari Govinda. Working online allows us to enjoy a country lifestyle in magnificent surroundings like the Franschhoek Valley. However, the flip side is that the shops are further away unless you can bring the boutique closer to home. I love to shop, especially for clothes, but it's the trip to the mall that can really dampen my enthusiasm. You know what it's like, you crawl through traffic and by the time you enter the front gates, there's no parking. By now, you're running late, you have to rush and you end up leaving with something that's not quite what you wanted. Fortunately, there's an alternative and we're here to meet the style maven who's made it possible. Born in Port Shepston, Kumari Govinda is now based in the Cape, where she publishes her popular fashion and beauty blog, Style Society. She's also a pioneer of a new approach to luxury retail. So Kumari, what got you interested in fashion? My mum. I think fashion is in my DNA. When I was younger, I um, used to watch her create these gorgeous gowns and wedding gowns and cocktail dresses and I used to watch the entire creative process and I think that just got me hooked. So what do you think about the fact that some people just think clothes are clothes? They don't think anything more of it. I mean, it's obviously a very important element of your lifestyle. I don't believe that clothes um, define you, but I definitely think it gives you lots of confidence. Style is personal and it's a level of self-expression. Tell us about Style Society. Style Society is actually my creative space and a creation of all my favorite things design, styling, trends. How do you stay on top of the latest fashion developments? I set aside time to foster new um, fashion concepts and to research market trends. I also follow fashion stories and ideas that translate well with my audience. I hear you have some very exciting things lined up for us, so should we go have a look? Kamari, what is a pop-up shop? Um, pop-up shops, uh, trunk sales, trunk shows, uh, pop-up boutiques, it's all the same thing. It's basically flash retailing where you actually get a venue, you set up, shop, you trade for a few days and it's all about exciting the consumer with something different. So it's lots of surprises in store. It's here today, gone tomorrow. What sets a pop-up apart from normal chain stores and malls? Well, basically it's a very exclusive intimate shopping event and it showcases inspiring collections handpicked by myself. I look at various local designers. I try and uh, incorporate lots of local brands. You can actually come in and get pampered. We do makeovers. There's lots of st uh, stylists also available on the day to advise you on clothing selection and that type of thing. This is the complete opposite to shopping online. How many shops can you think of where you can actually meet the designers who create the pieces that you're thinking of buying? Because that's just one selling point that gives Kumari's pop-up a competitive edge. It's very personal and um, the shoppers actually get to meet the actual designer and ask questions that they have. And it's a nice opportunity for us as designers to have um, a platform to showcase our things. I saw it on social media and then I contacted Kumari and she responded really quickly, which was really nice in this industry. This is just a basic silk satin garment with uh, Italian tulle embellished with uh, pleather and then we added some lovely lace over here and embellished it with these Chinese crystals and seed beads. And of course, a new addition to the wardrobe will always need accessories. Well, actually a friend of mine introduced me to Kumari, a fellow uh, designer. And from the first one, it, it just went off so well that I've been with her ever since. So what are some of the challenges and advantages of a pop-up in business terms? Well, I'd say uh, challenges, it's usually marketing because you have, it's a fleeting store, so you have a very short time to make a huge impact. Basically, for like local designers, one of the advantages is you don't have to have massive overheads or be tied down with like lease agreements and that type of thing. The designers are amazing. And yeah. you, you can also meet them and chat to them, which is something you don't really get at a store. Some businesses are only tailored for the online environment, but Kamari Govinda has found a way to keep all her customers comfortably in touch with fashion online and on the shop floor.